Hey everybody! Uh, oh, it's a little hey. strange as I'm up in my or down my own little corner over there. <laughs> um, but hey, thanks for joining us on a special uh, beer and a board game uh, as we try to raise some money and awareness for um, Extra Life over here. Uh, today's a 24-hour kind of stream for Dungeons and Dragons and Extra Life and uh, gaming in general. So you guys can donate. Uh, head on over to extralife.org. Uh, you can find a different campaign over there as far as like uh, D&D. Mike Merles I know has his own. Uh, Geek and Sundry have their own. Uh, but basically it's a goal for that team. Uh, you can head on over there and select the team or just find one and donate towards them. Um, other than that, uh, I guess there is no backstory because no we're in Dungeons & Dragons. Oh. But today we're playing uh, Betrayal at Baldur's Gate, uh, which is exciting. Uh, so if you guys ever played Betrayal at, is that House on Haunted Hill or yeah. Haunted House Betrayal on Betrayal at House on the Hill. Is the Betrayal at House, I always throw Haunted in there for yeah, some reason. I think yeah. there's an H word in there. I always want to put a, a the in between yeah. Betrayal at the, the House on the Hill, but apparently they don't. No, it's, it's, not it's like the Hill House. It's like the Netflix show. The oh, Haunted oh, Hill. Yeah. Good, so, if you anyway. guys play that game, it's very similar. Uh, Gavin and I are going to you know, describe what's different, uh, what's unique. Um, and then we'll go ahead and kick it off. There actually is like a game over you, which is kind of like a backstory thing. Do you want me to read oh. that too? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is the backstory for this board game that we're playing. So, game over you. Baldur's Gate is cursed. The shadow of Baal has covered the city. Now the god of murder is whispering to those who would carve a path of blood mayhem in his name. As if in answer to Baal's dark presence, monsters and other horrors crawl out of the sewers and shadows, shuffling along the streets and alleyways looking for prey. You have been called upon by the Harpers to stop the evil that has infected the city. Ooh. Joining forces with other heroes from all walks of life, you enter Baldur's Gate with your companions, ready to do whatever it takes to banish Baal and his followers to the shadows. Are you strong enough to resist Baal's corruption, or will you succumb to his madness? In Betrayal Baldur's Gate, each player plays an adventure investigating the city of Baldur's Gate. As you explore the seedy corners of the city, you discover new tiles, which can be either buildings, streets, or catacombs. Each time you enter a new tile, you might find something, or something might find you. Ooh. Adventures change over the course of the adventure, for game, or for better or for worse, uh, depending on how they deal with the city's surprises. The city is different each time you step out of the relative safety of Elf Song Tavern. Ooh. Oh. Relative safety? Relative safety. Okay. Uh, at some point during the game, one of the adventurers triggers a scenario called a haunt. When the haunt is revealed, one adventurer becomes a traitor, bent on defeating their former companions. The rest of the adventurers become heroes struggling to survive. From then on, the game is a fight between the traitor and the heroes, often to the death. The game has 50 haunts, and each one tells a different story. All That's of them really are yours cool. to explore, and I think we played this like once or twice before. So. Yeah. Okay, so if you've played uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill, um, the main changes are there's a new haunt roll. Uh, so when we make a haunt roll, you roll dice equal to the number of omen cards already revealed. So one of the things we're going to be doing when we explore the... Uh, I guess Baldur's Gate is discovering ti uh, tiles that have this omen symbol and whenever someone draws one of those they're going to make a roll using a number of dice equal to the number of symbols that have been drawn uh, already revealed. I guess so let's see we make a hot roll. Yeah so I guess the first one will be one die uh, the second roll will be two dice. Each one of these dice has either a zero, one, or two number of pips on the side. Uh, as soon as one of these omen cards gets revealed, and then whoever re reveals it rolls a total of six or more pips, which obviously becomes harder and harder, or more likely every time, uh, that triggers the haunt. Um, so yeah. the main difference between this and the other one was that you roll six dice, right, every time, and then if you didn't, I think you had to roll you had to stay under the number. Or yeah, or something like that. It, it was something. It was, it was you slightly had to different. Stay under the number of omens. Like the the end effect was probably about the same. But yeah. the math was slightly different. I think yeah. this was a little bit easier. Yeah. Like um, tips too. A new way to determine first player. Everyone takes a player aid card at the start of the game. Whoever is the card with the lowest number goes first. I passed these out earlier, forgetting about that, so I didn't cheat. I promised. Mine is a five. It's definitely not me. Mine's a six. And this is the player aid card, and the number it's down here at the bottom. Oh. I am numero uno. Oh, oh well, so it's going to be Jack. Yay. Traitor. Uh, adventurers. Instead of explorers, this game has adventurers. Adventurers each have a unique, unique adventure power that can be used throughout the game. So oh, this is typical oh okay, so D&D oh, yeah. classes? So yeah, so each one is going to have their own kind of unique class ability. Like, the Warlock has Eldritch Blast, obviously. Uh, the Ranger has Hunter's Mark, obvi also obviously, because it's the best Ranger spell. Fight me. Um, there's a few other things that 
matter. There's three three decks that are kept separately for the cards. Uh, when you exit a doorway, that determines which deck you pull from. So, for example, the the yellow ones are streets. The red doorways go to other buildings, and then ah. in the catacomb there will be blue doorways that Ooh. go to the catacombs. Ooh. We also start off with two layers to start with, which you can go to uh, between each other right here. Yeah. yeah. I gotcha. Um, the other major thing, there's a few other little changes that aren't really important. We'll get to them if they come up. But the one important thing is that you can steal an item or omen if you would deal two or more points of any type of damage, not just physical damage. So, presumably, this is more important once the hunt starts, but yep. you can actually take cards from each other. Okay. Which is good if we have the Betrayer like super decked out with all the magical items. Yep. Have you guys picked... Picked players yet? Um, can you give me some of the like black tokens, black thingies? This is the paladin. No, the the black things. The oh wait, this things. is. What do you mean? The, the go on the. These things. Yeah. And, no. Oh. Oh, these are not black. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these things. things. You mean the, the markers? Yeah, they're black things. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I could, what do you guys like to play? Oh, I literally have played this one. Um. I'm not sure if it matters or not, but uh, take a look at special abilities, see if any of them uh, speak to you in any way in particular. Jay, what do you want to play? I don't care. <laughs> I think I'm going to play Gretchen Titch Willow. I gotta step outside my comfort zone and play a character I'm not used to playing. I'm gonna be the druid. <clears throat> uh, I've got Wild Shape. Once per game, I can uh, choose one wild shape, which lets me adjust my stats a little bit. Banging. Interesting. May what? I have uh, a couple of the black things? Oh, thank you, you already. so much. <laughs> what are you going to be? Are you picking the paladin? Oh, you haven't chosen yet? Well, anyway, you got the cards. <laughs> Sorry. I thought Wait, you chose. Are you choosing the paladin? Maybe. It, well, so it's one side of the paladin, one side of the cleric. So that's yeah. sorcerer, that's wizard. So you can flip it. That's cool. I'm a warlock. What was your other option? A ranger. Ah. Catching stats down below, but that's okay. <clears throat> Gretchen. Okay. Yeah, the uh, Warlock's Eldritch Blast ability is pretty cool because it lets me attack using sanity instead of might. And oh. the opponent rolls sanity for defense. Mm. Nice. And if I <clears throat> win, in addition to inflicting damage, I may move the defender one tile away. Okay, so so we it's all a good start way of uh, tavern. getting. Lesser beings out of my head. I guess I'll be a cleric, I think. All right, cool. So you're gonna be the half orc. <laughs> Jay, which one are you gonna be? I mean, Jay's green, so I feel like I should play one of the green guys. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Um, let's see. <laughs> I go with the monk. Bard. Let's go with the Bard support. I like Bards. Uh, my name is Bard Inspiration. Yeah, nice. So, then I gain one trait. You. Okay, so if I heal somebody, I can <clears> gain <throat> a trait that has fallen below its starting value. Yeah, so, yeah, it's pretty good. I get two healing thingies. Okay. Um, I think they might be in this bank. Oopah. Oh, and I will need the Bard Inspiration token. I might also. So you don't have Hunter's Mark, right? No. Um, I'm I'm using the Warlock. Ooh, look at and all this stuff. Pew pew okay. with like I can Eldritch Power. Five hours to that, that's going to go in that bag, I think. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's a Bard Conspiration. Is it just one token? Just one. Okay, so I reach level three. No. <laughs> Did you find your. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, you know what? I think, I think they're in here. I apologize. Can you give me back that. Uh... Blast! Is this going here too? Uh, yeah, what? Hmm. I saw them <coughs> there. One of them is cool. not like the other. So I can give this to somebody and I'll add one to your roll. Cool. Nice. At any point in time? Yep, as long as it's not a haunt roll. A haunt oh, roll. Haunt. Not much we can do about those except die. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll well, it's Jay's turn. Mm -hmm. On your turn, you can perform six different kinds of actions. Uh, you can move, you can discover a new tile, you can use an item and omen cards, you can attempt a die roll. Uh, use your adventure power and make an attack. You can do them in any order as often as each type allows in turn. The big thing is, I think once you discover a title that has a card on it, that usually ends your turn. Gotcha. 
Uh, I am going to uh, attack. No, I'm joking. I'm going to discover a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which way do you want to go? Uh, go? My movement is their speed, which is four. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and head on out and stay inside the building. This is me right here? Yep. All right. I'm still in the shot. One, two, and I'll curve down this way. All right. And uh, for moving, you can move as far as your speed allows, usually. Okay. I believe if you go through a square that has an enemy, I'm just talking. Uh, it takes two of your speed. Gotcha. All right. Um, so when you put down this card, does, do the doors have to match? Oh, the doors don't have to match. Um, basically, the the door is only important going through that direction, I believe. Uh, but let me double check that. Okay, I sure. Think the, like the ones that you go through need to match. When you connect a tile, the color of the doors you attach doesn't matter. Uh, at each new tile, logically you can create and connected tiles by connecting doors whenever possible. But I don't think the colors matter. Okay. So, if um, you can do it, otherwise... Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it. And I'll get an omen. Uh-oh. We're off the bat. Oh, oh, off right. the hey, do you want some dice? <clears throat> the Book of Spells. Oh, boy. Okay. So, weapon. This dusty tome is filled with secrets, some useful, and others dangerous. If you can attack an opponent that has a sanity trait, you may attack with sanity instead of might. Your opponent defends with sanity and damages mental instead of physical. If you attack an opponent in this way, and you take damage, take one additional point of damage. You can't use another weapon while you're using this one. Make no. a haunt roll now. So a two. You have to, yeah. There, okay. Basically, there's no way to get the haunt until at least the third tile gets yeah. dropped. Yeah, so. because it's six, right? We have the, yeah. yeah, so. I got a two, though, guys. We're okay. Uh, I'm very pleased that you're exploring my kind of magic. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All it's right. A good book. Um, it's a book of spells, not a book of shadows. <laughs> and, well, I mean, a couple, minor difference. All right. Um, I'm also going to explore, and I'm going to also explore in buildings because. Which way are you going? This way. Okay. And it is Ooh. the sorcerer's sundries. Mm. An event. It's a shop. Oh, and in the shop is an Othiog tentacle. A grasping tentacle reaches out at you Sorry. from a crack in the wall. From beyond the crack, you hear a low, no. hungry growl. Uh, oh, I know this. So we need an Othiog token. Yes, one of those before. On this yeah. tile. I've got bits of that in my beard, I think. There you go. <laughs> okay. After the haunt has begun, whether the hero attempts to leave this tile, the Othiog attacks. So I guess it doesn't really matter until the haunt begins. Okay. It seems like uh, the player with the hero's uh, right makes a might three attack against him. If the hero wins, this card's a token on the card. If the hero wins by three or more, they also gain one might and one speed. But uh, it seems like right now it's just kind of hanging out, being a terror. And we're just going to leave this card being right a here. a potential terror. As a reminder of the horror that is on the a other side. To come. Yep. Just be aware, guys. There's a tentacle here. There is a tentacle. Of course. Tentacle. Wherever you are, is yeah. old god tentacles sticking out. Wild magic. <laughs> <laughs> Accidents happen, okay? How about... Well, you you all are... I, I can talk about it. Oh, come on, Gretchen. Halfling. Well, you are all are, are exploring inside these buildings and everything. Uh, I'm going to go where my druid ways take me, which is outside. This place mm. sucks. I'm actually pretty uh, smart. I'm going to go out this way. <laughs> I don't want to play my guy dumb, but I got to play him smart Yeah. Uh, oh, it's an executioner's block. Oh, well, that's creepy. <laughs> right out the front door. Oh, actually, we'll, we'll go like this. Oh, you get an omen, too. Amazing. Yep, and an omen. Uh, it does not bode well. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's, it's a figurine of wondrous power. Uh, I have a companion. This small ebony statuette, shaped like a fly, fits in the palm of your hand. This figurine transforms into a giant fly that stays with you and protects you. Once per game, when you take any amount of damage, you may ignore that damage instead. This omen can't be dropped, traded, or stolen. Make a haunt roll now. So now, since we've got two haunts, I'm rolling two dice. Still no way to roll a six. But just following suit. And because I got a haunt, my turn is over. Cool. What's your uh, paladin's name? Or cleric's name? Vort Dormal. <coughs> Vort. 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 Half orc. I'm going to go this way. Fine, right, Vort. Wait, what is that? A street? I don't yeah. want to go on the street. 
So there's there's this one here. We'll we'll take you to a building. There's yeah. this way. Well, you can also go into the catacombs because you're a brave, mighty cleric of hell. I'm assuming. I don't know. I'll go this Religions. Way. Hey, hey, yeah. what's up? Bro? All right, buildings. Here you go. Yeah. I'm gonna let you flip it for. Has blood. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, wow. cool. All red doors. Another, another uh, hunt as well. They don't. Well, they go fast. <laughs> or another omen, rather. They don't fuck around. Mm, house of blood. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. An eye of the Vecna. Ooh. Ooh. Power at the cost of a single eye. What are you doing? I was going for my guy. Oh, uh, also, this makes you, when you leave this room, uh, you must attempt a sanity roll of three or more. Fucking what? If you fail, you lose one speed, but you continue moving. Yeah, That's certain, just when you leave, so... Yeah, so certain rooms have special abilities that you have to take into account. So you're fine this round, but if you're going to try to move on, yeah. Okay, so I gain one knowledge. A bargain of some, a curse to others. So, hold on, I'm going to read this and sort this out. Lose one knowledge if you lose control of the Eye of Vecna. The Eye of Vecna grants you the power to inspire terror in others. Ooh. That's exactly what the... <laughs> right? If an opponent attempts to move on to the tile you occupy, you may have them attempt a roll of two plus with two dice. Mm. If they succeed, they enter your tile. If they fail, they stay on their current tile and the end of their movement for the turn. And they die. That's kind of cool. If they failed and rolled a one, you also... Wait. If they failed and rolled a one, you also take one point of mental damage. Huh. Yeah, so mental damage is either sanity or knowledge. Okay, so gain more knowledge. Cool, I'm even smarter now. I got this thing. So hmm. Vecna was the evil god of magic or knowledge? Mag Secrets? Yeah. yeah, magic, knowledge, secrets. Um. Okay, still good, still good. Four. It's getting spicy up there in here. There was also the, the hand of Vecna was the other yeah. big one. I don't know if there's a hand of Vecna in here. I think the, the symbol of Vecna is a hand with an eyeball in it. Well, but those were the two, so I don't remember if it was Vecna removed their eye and cut off their hand and replaced it with these men, or if, like, you could, it was literally the eye of Vecna and you could replace it with your own, but those were powerful magic items in yeah. previous <laughs> versions of d and I'm sorry, nerding out. So, in uh, the Critical Role universe, or in the... Taldori? Uh, Maginella uh, universe, uh, he was guest star in Critical Role while they fought Vecna. Uh, and afterwards, he chopped off her, her hand, put it on his hand, uh, and peaced out. Yep. So that's like the lore of the story. His character, Dracon, now has the hand of Vecna as his own hand. But he didn't take the eye? Um, Probably wasn't. Enough time. I think that was something he had to place else. But yeah, I was like, going to say, it's like, I got, got her. Jock's yeah. mocking I taking an eyeball, the hand makes a way more sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. You know, lifting strength. When you, I forgot, when you roll for an ability check for whatever reason. What yeah. are you rolling? So, so, since my knowledge is five, mm -hmm. if it's a knowledge check, I use five dice. Mm -hmm. Basically, number That's means, what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, if you want to leave, it would, you would have to make a check against... Sanity. Is this, yeah, so you would use the number of dice as you have a sanity number. Which you should be pretty succeed. high, because you're a cleric. I think it's three plus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you can't do that this turn anyway, since... Well, yeah, I'm just, uh, I was just asking. Sorry. Oh, and guys, we're getting to the haunt way sooner than expected. But you well, know what? No, I mean, we, we had a string. We're probably, on average, about halfway there. The, the odds um, of being another Omen card are... What are the chances? Yeah. All right, so where would you like to go? Miska? Um, Silver Song? Oh, my God. Of course, the bard. Her last name has to contain song in it, or no... I'm not, I'm not judging. Uh, no, you're definitely judging. That was that was judgment. Trust me. Remember, I know judgment. My bard's alter ego is Sibylla Sweet Song. Yeah, I know. I know all about shitty bards. Step out this door, thinking I'm still inside the house, but I wish you out in the streets. So all right. Bitch. I'm in the street. Huh. Well, I you find the street. And I, don't I know. found myself outside in an alley. Uh oh. Um, appears to be an ambush alley. Oh. It's Baldur's Gate. If you end your turn here, which I do, since it's. Well, draw an event card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I must draw an event card. Hmm. And get your ass kicked. Cool. <clears throat> well, in ambush alley, there's a sound of pleasant dreams. Hmm. Of course not. Sound of looming doom. Oh. You hear a little growl. Glowing red eyes pierce the darkness ahead. Out from the shadows glides a large yeth hound. 
but its face looks less like a dog's and more like yours. Ooh. Creepy. Dun, dun, dun. Each adventurer must attempt a speed roll. If there is a tie for highest or lowest, the tied adventurers roll again until there is no tie. The That's highest right. roller gains one speed. The lowest roller is attacked by the yet hound. Even if you're not there? The player to the right rolls a speed three attack for the yet hound. Okay. They defend with speed. Okay, so first of all, let's see who has uh, the highest and lowest speed. All right, I've got three, four, four. Well, we can we can go around the table. So I have four, and I rolled four. There you go. You can roll those four. Three. Oh, five. Six. Six. Well done. You get a bonus so, speed. I get a bonus speed. And you and get attacked. Great. And you get attacked. The person to the lowest rollers uh, right rolls speed three attack. And I think you get to defend. And then you defend with your speed. So whatever you roll, just four dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and roll against. And you pass. There you go. Oh, so you luckily, you defeated it. Sweet. Had you not, then you would have taken damage. Um, yeah. Interesting. So, I like that. Yeah. And did you get your extra speed? Yep. I got Good. my bonus speed. Hey guys, I'm going out to the alley. Well, oh my god, this dog just ran through. And then so. just, <laughs> it just found you just standing there, I guess. Crazy. Yeah. Literally ambush alley. Alright. That is the event card. Uh, I'm going to put that at the bottom, I guess. I'll just keep exploring. Next to us. I'll go into the street. Oh, and this is a perfectly nice and safe fountain. And once per game, if I end my turn here, I gain one sanity. And you know what? I like sanity because that's my attack stat. Nice. nice. So I'm going to just go ahead and end here rather than keeping exploring okay. and collect one sanity. That's good. I might come over there too and boost up my sanity in case I want to use this book. Not too shabby. Um, let's see. I am going to... Nobody else is downstairs. I don't know if I can make it downstairs on this turn. One, two, three, four. Yeah, like I want to try exploring the catacombs, but I'm also terrified that it's well, probably I, full of evil. I assumed that one of you people was going to do it, and so I was going to take the outside part, but you guys are like, no. I'm I, I encourage just, you to explore. <laughs> look, just because I'm a drow doesn't mean I need to go into underdark places. Well, it's where you're most comfortable. Uh, I'm just going to explore in the street. because It's always cloudy here. As far as my little legs will take not me. Not um, We're actually going to go to this one over here. Off of Off Song Tavern. Oh, it's a haunted alley. Oh, of course it is. Wouldn't when happen? exiting, you must attempt a speed roll of 3+. plus. If you fail, lose one sanity, but continue moving. Hmm. Uh, and it's got an omen. Oh, sweet. Oh, <laughs> Berserker X. This axe was made to kill. It just needs you to help fulfill its destiny. Okay. You roll two additional dice, maximum of eight dice, when making a might attack with this weapon. If you are on a tile with one or more opponents, you cannot leave that tile unless you first attack an opponent with this weapon. You can't use another weapon while you're using this one. This omen cannot be dropped, traded, but it can be stolen. Interesting. Make a hot roll now. I believe that's four? Yep. Yep. <coughs> Good luck, Gabe. Traded. What? Did you trigger the haunt yet as a trigger? Not necessarily. Okay. You're good. We're fine. <laughs> Close call. You would know if there's evil though. Yeah, jeez. You're pretty quick to point fingers when we haven't gotten to that stage of the game yet, traitor. <laughs> <laughs> just because of the color of my skin. No, because you're being a suspicious to... person and pointing fingers. You, just... drew, you pointed the first finger. Don't say it isn't true. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're going to leave the room, Kelsey, you're going to have to make a sandy check. So we'll have to make a stand roll. I mean, I honestly... Unless you want to stay. I'm just going to hang out here. I mean, you okay. can, yeah. but... I mean, you may not want to. I don't want to go do stuff. Yeah. You can make a sand roll. You got this. What's your sand It's going to be three plus. Yeah, we got no, three. No, my sanity's three. Three? All right. Is anybody saying over here? I only got three. I've got Seven. four. Um, All right. I rolled a four. Nice. Woo! -hoo! There you go. You're out. Dana, and you don't Dana, have to Dana. Where would you like to go? Dana, Dana, Into Dana. a building? Yeah. But, um, I really had no choice. All the doors are red. It's a mansion. Or is it a maison? No, it's a mansion. 
It's a mansion uh, in this building. I got another vet <laughs> card. Got last Akita. Do you want to split it? No, it's all right. Okay. I'm going to save some room for some mac and cheese. There's a forgotten relic. Tucked away in the corner, scribed in the wall, is a holy symbol of tur, tire, 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 It's a turd. Turd. God of justice. Tear is a good holy symbol for you to have, Claire. Nice. Not to use a cleric at home. Perhaps this place can offer some aid. Oh. You must attempt a knowledge roll. You're good at that. Oh, I am. You're really good at that. All right. Let's see what happens. Wow! What? <laughs> That's so many bl- Okay, I don't know if we can pan a camera to that, but every single die zero was a zero. Absolutely. Zero. What was that for? I'm right back. So this was for the eye of t- or the holy symbol of tear. Well, that's because you're the a God holy of symbol of helm. You're like you're a follower of helm. So if I got a five plus, I could choose a trait that is below a starting value and reset the value. If I got a four, I could gain one in a trait that's below its starting value, and I got a zero to three. Tear does not find me worthy, and nothing happens. To be fair, I don't think any of your stats are below starting value anyway. No. Yeah. So. Uh, usually, but still, a lot of those times it's like roll like, zero. Uh, you get it. No. Terry's like, you don't need this. So I just <laughs> throw it away. Yeah, oh, I just found the anyway. Uh-uh. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Cool. Get out of ambush alley. I guess. Uh, I'm gonna dodge. Keep going down. Street. Yep. There you go. Uh, what's this? Ah, it's a beloved ranger statue. Once oh. per game, if you end your turn here, gain one speed. Oh, that's nice. Now that since there's no card drawing, you could, I keep, could going. keep going. Yeah. Or. Or you could, let, I mean, I did the same thing over oh, here where I just decided to hang out at this magical chill. fountain. Just yeah. chill at the fountain. Or chill at the statue. It says in the statue, Minsk and Boo were here. Go for the eyes, Boo. Oh. <laughs> References. Boo, oh. Minsk and Boo were characters from the original Baldur's Gate video game. Oh. Yeah. Um, Boo, Boo was his miniature gi- giant space hamster. Space hamster, that's right. Or dwarf, I think it was dwarf giant space. It was something like that. It was a normal hamster. But space hamster. He, he didn't need to know. Copied by Overwatch. For their space hamster character. Uh, I'll go ahead and stop there and gain the plus one speed. Minx was the best character in that game. He's so nimble. <sighs> All right, you know what? I'm going to go back inside and uh, head into the catacombs. Nice. Because everybody's assuming I want to go there. Because I really don't like the sunlight. And it's a flooded chamber. Oh, safe. Um, I can attempt a sanity roll of three plus to cross. Handy. Or if I f- or if I fail, I stop moving. But I want to keep on moving because I've got one more movement left. So if I could have three dice. Oh, sorry. No, I need seven dice. What? She's really sane. I'm super sane. She's so sane it's insane. So careful. <coughs> those dice so clear adventurer power. Can I use that and move, or is it one or the other? I okay. can use both of them. Okay. Seven. And it's a dusty cellar. All you need is a dusty buyer. <coughs> hey An event. A stalking shadow. Dun, dun, Your dun, shadow dun. seems to flicker and dance, moving of its own accord as it coalesces into a horrid humanoid shape and lunges at you. You must attempt a speed roll. Well, crap. I'm great at those. No, I'm not. This is going to be awful. Oh, no. Oh, off the table. You know what that means. Take a shot. Yeah. Nope. What? Found something. It's an event. Okay, you're proud. Something grabbed my arm. It's furry. <laughs> Anim- animate fur horror. Okay, the shadow <clears throat> brushes against my leg and I lose one sanity, which oh, is a no, shame. No. You, have plenty, you have plenty of spare, though. It's true. Uh, All right. It's like uh, the scene in Star work, Wars. My work here is done. Brush my leg. <laughs> Choices were made. Choices were made. All right. Um... I believe I can fly. Thank you. Shut up. Wow. Because that literally was in my head when he said that, and you need to go away so we can be away from each other for like five minutes. <laughs> it's getting really five scary. In it here. was in all of our heads. No. There's every day. There's something that we both say, and it's like. Um, I'm gonna use my That's wild what shape, love. and I'm gonna turn into a <laughs> mouse. Whoa! Uh, so I permanently get to. Bump up my uh, speed two. 
Nice. Do we have a mouse token you can use? No, I'm just going to use my same token. <laughs> and my... I would I think my might would go down, but instead it's my knowledge. Interesting. Mm. Down, which really doesn't... Because you're bringing his Oh, Is our 5e rules. Um, oh, I guess if I turned into an owl, I would lose the might. Mm. But I would gain two knowledge. Anyway, uh, that makes me super quick. So yeah. hopefully I can get out of this Haunted thing. Alley? The haunted Alley. <clears throat> I need to roll... Five die, and I think so. who's oh they're all right here. Oh okay. okay. <laughs> Just start leaning towards me. <laughs> it's like and I lose sanity. Anyway. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Well, join the Lost Sanity Club. Yeah. At least you can keep them on moving. Do you, I intend to. Do you want to get out of it and back into the safety of the tavern, or do you want to go the other way? No, I'm gonna go this way. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go get that extra speed <laughs> or I guess sanity, which I just lost. <clears throat> uh, you know what? Well, no, we're gonna go down here. And, oh, uh, that's where mice go. What you, can I please have this? Oh, yes. okay. Of course, of course, the mouse would go into the pantry. No, no. Uh, For, it's forgotten cash. So, uh, Minsk and Boo is not actually in this game, but there is a little uh, reference. I don't know if you caught that one, uh, like in the little card right here. Let me try to get it on camera for you. Yeah. Um. So this might be useful for your. Oh, sorry. Right there. Uh, where, here we go. He was a beloved ranger. Oh. What's uh, this? Uh, so it's a forgotten cache. Uh, <laughs> you may attempt a knowledge roll. Okay. Look at you. Uh, of five plus to draw an item card once per game. If you fail, you take one point of physical damage. Oh. But for someone with very nice knowledge, it might be a good way to get an item. Yeah, card. yeah. Um, mm. But I'm going to go there. Five plus. And I get an Oof. event. Moment of calm. You suddenly <laughs> find yourself alone. It can't hurt to search the place, right? Uh, every adventure on a building tile must roll one die. Uh, two, draw an item card. One, nothing happens. Zero, you break a pot and the owner returns. Weapon in hand. Lose one might. You're, you're in deadly. So let's you're see. Just me? <clears throat> yeah, just you. Oh, that doesn't count the catacombs, does it? Nope. One won't. Okay. So I guess it's just you. Get a two. Get a two. Oh, nope. you break a pot and the owner returns. Weapon in hand. Lose one might. Oh, <laughs> I'm not very mighty pal or cleric. Oh, well, I'm a cleric. That's why. <clears throat> Should have paladin. No, sure. not the same. Um, and nice. it's to you. Sorry about that. Oh, it is to me. Nice skin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the bad stuff is like, here you go. Here <laughs> you go. Okay, so you got Take that way, basically. The or you can go out here. Uh, you want to go to the street? You get bonus speed, you get bonus... Whatever up Wait, there too. You, what can, bonus you can go to the fountain and get some sanity, but it's one, two, three, four. I'm four. Um, yeah, if you want to get some sanity or some speed. Yeah. Yeah, it's four either way. Or explore. Or you can keep exploring. Um, but uh, gaining some of those sweet, sweet stats is a good way. Some sanity actually. Which way is it? It's this way. It's the fountain. So one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. Two. Boop. And your sanity goes <laughs> up by one. Sweet. All right, Jay. Yeah, I'm not that sane, apparently. Need some stats <laughs> over here, guys! <laughs> uh, it doesn't hurt, I mean, you know, buffer zone, right? Just gonna hop to all the places I need uh, stats. <laughs> Where would you like to go? Into a building? Well, first, I should've been doing this more often, and I apologize, I should be getting out some bark inspiration. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Sandy back. Um, Over here. Hey, and here you go. Oh, now, cheers. when you roll, uh, you get to add one to it. For anything? Uh, just as long as not the haunt roll. Do mm -hmm. you get to just keep redoing that? Yeah. Well, well I can't pass it on until she uses it, then I'll get it back, so then I can hand it back. But out. the yeah. idea is, like, <laughs> you've kind of been getting hit by a lot of rolls, so that might be a good, like, plus one to throw in any time. They have to be within three spaces of me. Okay. So I could have gave it to you, too. That's why I rolled the dice. Oh, that's fine. All right, I'm going to go. Now I get a sanity. I'm gonna keep exploring these catacombs. Let's see what happens. And I'm gonna go this way, I think. Oh boy. It's a neg neglected shrine. Oh, look, and a hunt. Possibility. Hunt possibility. It's the iron flask of Turney. Mm. This oh. iron flask shudders and quakes as if something wants out. Cool. Instead of attacking normally, Drink it. you may use this omen on your turn 
to open the flask, unleashing the Balor trapped within. The demon makes a might six attack against every adventurer, monster, and NPC on your tile, including yourself, before returning to the abyss. It can only be used once per game. And I gotta so make it's like a, a suicide bomb. It's a suicide bomb. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is great. Great, great, great. And how many omens do we have? Five? We have five. Oh boy. There we go, guys. It's a good thing our mac and cheese is almost ready. Because <laughs> hey! oh, we're still in it. All right. We're still in the gang. <laughs> so for each omen we get, we increase the number of dice or die we roll, and we're trying to stay under six. Now, these aren't normal die. Uh, we haven't played the game before. It's zero, zero, one, one, two, two. So when you roll five of them, I don't know what the odds are, but it's... I mean, you were t turning the dice around, but nobody actually saw it. Cause you gotta... Zero, one, zero, one, yeah. two, two. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch out, Vanna. Why come for your job? <laughs> oh, boy. It's you. a beast. So... Uh, what I did was I discovered this Assassin's Run, which has this trap thing that you can try and run across. And I was like, mm, nope. And then I just went back this other way, and I discovered a Beast Slayer, which has yet another omen. That's probably right in your face, Kelsey. It's fine. Well, and I'm probably going to pronounce this incorrectly, but it's homun homunculus? Homunculus. Oh, I pronounced it correctly. Yeah. Uh, companion, a pitiable, misshapen humanoid hmm. figure formed from clay, no more than a foot tall, so taller than me in my most form, emerges from the shadows and stares at you with black, blinking eyes. Gain one might and one knowledge. Nice. Uh, lose one night and one knowledge if you lose control of this monk. Homunculus. Homunculus. That's what I said. Uh, I heard it. Homina, homina, no. Homina, 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 ha. Why do I read that? No, it's because I'm. No, Okay. Uh, now it's getting dangerous. Yep, now we get, what, seven? Six. Six. You were five. I can math. <laughs> Still good. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Still in this, guys. All right. Cool. All right, let's see if I can't put that in the middle there. And this guy not in front of Kelsey's face. It's fine. There we go. Mix it around a little bit. Is it up? No. Wait, is it down? No. Is it this way? Uh, what are you I'm trying, trying to get, point trying get that guy right that there? Way. There you go. All right. Well, oh, the well, other one comes. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. I'm going to get some stuff. There we go. There's nothing I can give me more might, huh? Not currently. Have you already gotten the speed? No, but I'm gonna go get some. Oh, get yeah. some! Get some! This is a speed one? Next, Next one. one. Yeah. That, that was the ambush alley. Ah! Not a good place. Yeah, you don't want to end your time. Best alley. to move as quickly through ambush alley as possible. <laughs> no, I have more speed. Lest you get ambushed. <laughs> so, so this door to the catacombs... Where does this uh, open up to? So, so basically, he, this door here oh, this, doesn't no, open anywhere, but yeah. from here you can go down. You basically spend one more movement, and you appear oh, here. Oh, okay. It's and basically here. stairs up and down, yeah. And here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I see. I didn't understand that. I thought this was like you had to go out a door in it. Okay. Uh, so that's that's that. And don't forget to get your bonus speed if you have I already. did, I did. All right. All right, Jay. So, Mac and cheese. And Mac and cheese. Cheese. Alright, I will investigate some more of this house, I think. Well, there's all these alleyways conveniently mm. nearby. There are a lot. Streets, streets, streets. There's one building here. I think I'm all good. Actually, I'm going to go to the building. See inside the building. One, two, three, four. Building. Open up that door. And it's a hall of wonders. Once per game, if you end your turn here, gain one knowledge. Oh, that's nice. Um, and I get an event. Uh oh. An event. event occurs first. And I'll go ahead and face that so I can actually leave the room and not go walk. Okay, here we go. Shambling form. Oh. Ah, a drunkard staggers towards you through the night. Have no worries. It's your wife, Kelsey. She's had too much to drink. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's going to be all of us by the end of the night. So. As a form yeah. to your whore, that is actually a bloated, shambling zombie. Son of a Oh, bitch. shit. You must attempt a speed roll. I shall do the speed roll. I will need four more dice. Four for four. None for you. Thank you. With a speed of five. Hiya. I get nice. four... Six, seven, nice. four plus. You die as a zombie. Gosh, 
evading its reach just before it explodes in a burst of slime and pus. Eh, you gross. find a useful item in the remains, though. Draw an item card. Ooh. Ooh. Two to three, you attempt to flee, but son of a bitch, it bursts right over. You lose one speed. Zero to one, the diamond grabs you and explodes messily. Lose one might. Gross. I do find within the zombie or underneath guts, which is now slathered and shining off this nice and shiny rock. Oh man, you couldn't find this unless oh, the zombie jealous. exploded onto it. <laughs> mm, what a nice, beautiful rock. Surely someone would trade you for it. During your turn, if you're on the same tile as another adventurer, you may discard this item to steal an item they control of your choice. You can use that item on the turn you steal it. They cannot decline. Because it's a shiny rock. It's a rock. shiny rock. Obviously, everyone wants it. It's like fool's gold, <laughs> except awful. That's mean. That's life. Should I go pull the... Yeah, what do you want to do? Oh, I guess, um... If, do well, I... if you can go pull it out, mm -hmm. oh, I'll go go ahead and take my turn, because oh, I got... Oh, God. One, two... Oh, God, I only have three movement. Where's my baby? Oh, baby? Alright, I'm gonna keep exploring. There can only be... Oh, oh, it's... I found the cute, bold hideout. And I need an open. And I found the Pipes of Haunting. This spellbinding tune created by this instrument causes those around you to relive their worst fears. This should be for the bards. It's the last time you played music. <laughs> you may use this omen to play the pipes during your turn after a haunt has begun. If you do, each adventurer, a small monster, an NPC within two tiles of you must attempt a sanity roll. If they do not have a sanity trait, or if they fail the roll, you may move them one space away from you if possible. They cannot discover a new tile with that movement. And then I make a haunt roll. And I knew I should have taught you how to. We need seven, right? Yes. I was wondering why he has bagpipes around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aw, oh, Jesus. There we go. Still good. Still good. Nice. Wait, that's a, that's a six, isn't Wait, it? Wait, that's a six. Yep. Are we still good? Nope. We just have to roll above six. Woo! No, uh, I think that's it. Wait, uh, so that's okay. Now. Oh boy. The haunt has been triggered. Son no! of a... Well, do you want to yeah, Yep, it's if you roll then? six or higher. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was really excited. So, that's all right. I mean, how many omens do we have out there? Seven. Seven? So that was our seven one. That, that, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. I, I keep hoping we would find more items, but it's almost impossible. You go through the omens a lot faster than you go through literally well, everything there else. there was this forgotten cache here, so and everyone cool forgot about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's why it's the forgotten cache. Um, where is the haunt? Yeah, just, okay, so... Uh, the book. The book key. Making a haunt roll. Revealing the haunt. When a player makes a haunt roll... Just hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, and looks at the haunt chart on the first two pages of the Trader's Tome booklet. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do it? Yes. Okay. I triggered it. I want to I flip through it. So even though she triggered it, it doesn't necessarily mean that she's She's going not to necessarily the Trader. So this is yeah. what establishes that. So yeah. the Kobold Hideout is the room. Yep. And the Pipes of Haunting yeah. were the Omen. It is number one. So here's this little chart. So it's the Kobold Hideout, Pipes of Haunting, number one. And what is the number oh, one really represent? This first story. Um, that's why. Let's see. Is that the, a page number or? Okay, so the person with the lowest knowledge score is the traitor. So I've got a three. Or the fighter. The fighter is not in the game, so it's just the person with the lowest. I have a five. Four. Six. So I believe it's me. You are the traitor, and my initial hunch was correct. <laughs> <laughs> you had a one four chance, honey. Good job. <laughs> So that's what's fun about the game, even though like you don't know actually like who's gonna actually trigger it or anything or what the you know case is gonna be like what event's gonna happen. So it's it's yeah, I just I love the circumstantial. I love yeah. like the the style because like you're building like a different board every time you play, and you're not sure how it's gonna end, and like every time the big bad traders is gonna be something different. Mm -hmm. um, so we also get the secrets of yeah. survival, so we get to read what we uh, know. No reason not to the instant cheese. I'm gonna go away. Okay. And it was uh, hunt number one. And I'm gonna go oh, away. Sure. Yes. There you go. Yeah, very early. No. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're fun. I love them. Okay. These, these guys? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, Okay, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay, can you, can you hear us, Gabe? Say your name if you can hear us. Never liked him. <laughs> Such a dick. So, the title is Do Beholder's Dream of Electric Eye Rays. God fucking damn it. It's a pun. Let us know if you know that pun. Ugh. You've dealt with beholders before, and it's never a picnic. They're supremely intelligent, paranoid, and psychotic. Not a good combination. The scorch marks and piles of ash are telltale signs that this beholder has become agitated and is looking to spawn more of its spawn. kind. Best thing to do is to make sure this thing can't dream any more aberrations into existence. Oh boy. <laughs> so that's actually pretty cool. So how a beholders reproduce, per se, is it's more asexual or like kind of, it's this dream of another self and it just happens yeah i guess so you know stop them from dreaming right now did you just stop it leave the room all right that's probably talking about him for this hunt our haunt the traitor stays with the game board until both sides indicate they're ready we're well, supposed to leave yeah we were supposed to leave okay we'll let him know we'll switch it out what you know about the traitor the traitor is a minion of the beholder braxus who is now roaming around Baldur's Gate, finding places to dream and create an army of Beholder kin. You win when you have destroyed the Beholder and all the Beholder kin. Fuck. Kill geez. them all. Okay. Stopping the Beholder's dreams. If you're on the Beholder's tile, you can attempt to stop the Beholder from dreaming. Instead of attacking, you may attempt a knowledge or sanity roll opposed by the Beholder's roll with the same trait. Hmm. Excellent. Uh, you have some cr crazy knowledge, right? Or this uh, or I have decent sanity. It used to be better. Mm -hmm. But then I roll like shit. No, that happens. Um, if you want the beholder can't sleep, place a triangular quest token on every tile with an omen symbol representing a magical barrier that prevents the beholder from dreaming. Inform the traitor that the beholder can't sleep and has started to go insane. So that's if you... Oh, after you win. After you win. After you Yeah, beat so them. we can go ahead and grab them now and keep them a secret. But then, like, after we stop them from dreaming, yeah. It said triangle tiles? Yeah. Mm -mm. Triangular quest token. Oh, a quest token. Special attack rules. <laughs> when you defeat a beholder kin, it is stunned unless you inflict two or more damage to it. If you do, remove the master token from the board and draw an item card. So, killing the holder can you have to roll two or more damage against them. Okay. And you get an item card. Otherwise, it's just... Well, you have to hit them first, right? Or you just make it... Yeah, so we need to beat them by two points or more. Yeah, if you beat them oh, by one see, point, they're just stunned. Yeah. Stock up. Whenever you have the opportunity to draw an item card, you may draw three item cards, choose one, and put the others in the bottom of the stack in any order. Oh, interesting. So if we kick some beholder can asses, we... Draw hit. three, choose one. Yeah. That's not cool. bad. Cool. All right, so should we... Go tell Gabe. Okay, so primary things that we need to do. We should probably group up, because... Oh, Dixie! 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 Hey! hey! He's back! Oh, we thought you were... What's the sub button? You... Uh, so we were just not big enough, man. You gotta tell all your friends. We gotta get big enough to where we can uh, become a Twitch affiliate, basically. And then, then people can start subscribing to us. So then when we get more money uh, towards the charity, basically some subscribes, we get five bucks a month. And ah. Throw it right to the charity. Yeah, we're actually, we need to swap yeah. places with you because you got to do stuff. Yeah. Sure, that's fine. Dixie, we'll be back. Um, uh, glad to see you back, man. Uh, yeah, Gabe's in club it. here, though. All right. He's, he's going to do, he's gonna do yeah. his thing. And he's going to do whatever uh, we'll he's planning to do. Yeah. And uh, Thirst Patrol. What's Thirst, up, Canada? Thirst Patrol. Yeah. Cheers. Um, sure. Is that the girl that was? No, no, no. no it's somebody else. else. Oh, okay. It's a good time, too, because I need another beer. Yep. I need another drink, I too. I also need more drinks. And I need more cheese. Perfect. Yeah. We're gonna get more cheese and more beer because this is coming happens. up to do horrible things to the board so we all die. No, I'll go take my brain off. Honey, when you come back up, can you bring me another Coke? Another Coke, sure. Yes, please. Hi, everybody. Now I'm gonna do horrible things to the board. Oh, do you wanna to read to them what, what we're doing? Or what you're doing? No, I want it to be a secret. Okay. Well, but I'll describe what I'm doing. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, it's fine. I, just kind of I need to put a large monster token. 
on one of the things. It's a bit of a secret, but I'll hold it up for you guys. I don't know if they know this yet. But this is the monster token that I'm placing. Oh, can you see that? Let's see. Yes. What's well, a beholder? Shh, don't tell. Okay. I'll just yell at you. It's fine. So, oh, well, that's a silly thing to do. Why do they go outside? That's so weird. Okay. Uh, my adventure stays in the game, but I've turned traitor. Uh, I place a large beholder monster token on the adventurer's tile. It's right there. I get the damage track, which is this guy right here. It's just a track for tracking damage. Uh, do, 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 do. Equal to twice the number of adventurers. So there's four of us. I still count as an adventurer. I'm a traitor, uh, but we're all adventurers and they're heroes. So I'm going to set this to eight because there's four of us. Uh, set aside all of the triangular quest tokens. These represent magical barriers that prevent the beholder from dreaming. So let's see. Triangular quest tokens. What the heck? I don't think I see any of those. Well, I'm not sure it really matters if the tokens are triangular or not. It's gonna bother me though. We're missing. Oh, there's some over here. Yeah, that's the problem. They got stuff. Two adventures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think is how many I need for the number of omens, if I understood this correctly. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Magical bears prevent double from dreaming. Set aside a number of small monster tokens equal to the number of adventures. I think it can be these. One, two. Oh, we're kind of different color. It's not super important. We're going to do that anyway. And there's probably specific ones that would be the Beholderkin, which is what these are going to be representing, but I don't have them. So. And I don't want to look through this entire bag. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. We can have them come back in. Um, two. It's got an S side. Okay. And I guess I will text them to let them know that they come back in. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm just going to rejoin my uh, mac and cheese. So y'all can walk up to eat. I realize this is boring. I'm reviewing the rules for my my thing.
warmer up here. It's pretty toasty. I mean, okay, it's, actually, it's actually a lot more comfortable with the fan on, so. Yeah. All right, we're gearing up. We got some plates being made. And we'll, uh, we'll jump back into the game over here. Um, no mercy. Do your worst. Kill them all, Gabe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dixie. Grab me a soda. No, no soda oh, for traitors. Sorry. That's right. No soda for traitors. <laughs> no sodas for traitors. No soda for there's cheese. <laughs> yeah, we had to load up on we cheese. We had cheese issues. So much cheese. Oh, God. Decisions were made. Sacrifices. Oh, God. I'm going to regret this so much later tonight. No, I'm not. Me too. All right, Thirst Patrol. Give a shout out when you're back. Thirst Patrol. Thirst Patrol. Oh, we're thirsty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're always thirsty. <laughs> In general, you girls are pretty thirsty. In many you ways. Steal, a bit of your own? steal it all. No, I don't want to do that. But yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, he's okay. Hmm? Yeah. This is pretty good, huh? Oh, that's probably the big bad. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna go take care of it. I should have saved my inspiration for you. Oh, I can just burn it if you want. This gotta be on a roll. What do you mean? So when you roll a dice. Like yeah, whatever say, the next thing I do yeah. for a roll. I mean, whatever. Plus, she has to be within three. Squares of me. Well, I believe it's gonna start with Kelsey's turn if you guys wanna start doing stuff. Do you wanna start on my turn? Yep. Oh, because he's the traitor, so it goes to the Yeah, next. it starts with the person to the traitor's left. Oh. I don't know much to do right now, but. So would you call this the world's best mac and cheese? It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. I'm gonna use my movement to come down here. Best is a bold statement. But... That's all I got. That's it? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do right now. Heading on down. I think it's pretty good. Making your way downtown. Come. One, two, three, four. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I was gonna see if you can get into that, like, knowledge crate. The Forgotten oh, Cash. I shouldn't have tried to, but I couldn't. Wait, wait, what's my speed? Five, fuck it. Yeah, get, get those items. I got extra speed. What's this shit? All right, so, um, I believe you roll your knowledge. Which is five. I think. Or is it six? My knowledge is six. There you go. And try to beat a five plus. You got this. Get some sweet, sweet items. Maybe? Five. Counts. All right, so you get an item. Item, bitches! Oh. Uh, yeah, you actually get to draw three. three and choose your favorite one. Is that a bonus thing for you no, guys? No, that's only if I... No, it's it's if you have an opportunity to draw an item card. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... <clears throat> Uh, do you have the anti-beholder ray gun? <laughs> I do not. I have other choices. Hmm? Let's see here. Crossbow? You have, what's your best stat? <clears throat> Knowledge? Knowledge right now. Knowledge? Mm hmm That might be useful. If at the end of your turn any of your traits are at lowest value, that's what I was lowest thinking. Value above the skull icon. So this would be good if you're just about to die. Cool. Crossbow. I mean, use this weapon attack with speed instead of might. Mm -hmm. That could be useful for me. Uh, you would roll one additional die on your speed attack roll, and you may use this weapon to attack anyone on the same tire or within line of sight. Oh, that's handy. I feel like not dying. I'm gonna go with not dying. You sure? Yeah. I would. I would say they're not dying a crossbow. I'm gonna go with not dying. Book of Darkness gives you uh, two additional dice, but you take two points amount of damage. No, that's right. Okay, not dying. Yeah, we're okay. gonna not die. All right, there you go. Those got the bottom. What's that one do? Oh, let's just say that I use. So if like she got like down to like the last one above the skull, at the end of her turn she would gain plus one. What did this do again? Uh. It gives you a bonus to your dice roll. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's my turn. I think this is some of the good mac and cheese that I've had in the last... The gooder? The gooder, the better. Best? Not bettest. Better. <sighs> All right. 
So, let me make sure. Um, now there's more thinking involved. There is. A lot more thinking. So, uh, what's fun about the game is it starts off like, we're on a team, then it becomes a one versus three kind of game. Which I, I like the co-op games, personally. But, you know. Still I, I appreciate. I appreciate the one versus three games. So, sorry, when you come out, here you go, right? Yeah, in the kitchen. That one? Yeah. Okay, that guy. Okay. That's one, two, three, four. Head down right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm a mess. What? Oh my god, it's all over the place. Oh, uh, thirsty. Mm. Mm. That's why it is. Yeah. Oh, was that for me? Yeah. I was like, I don't know if you're passing it to Jay or me. Oh, you know, know, I'm going to go one. Is you okay, baby? From, from Georgia. Two. Should I keep exploring or do you want the bark inspiration? Doesn't she already have bark? Or did she use it? She, she used, used it. it. Yeah. It's not bad. It's good, good and tart. It's pretty tart. Very refreshing. So do you. All right. Uh, one, two. Oh, that's okay. It's three, four. Okay. Now come down here. You're within three tiles. Yep. Is there. What's the event on there or anything? Does it say something like the end your turn here or no? No. This, okay. this just uh, tells you that you can spend an action to go between these two. Gotcha. Or spend okay. a move. Perfect. Alright. Um. Well, okay. So I'm in a bit of a predicament in that. Your movement is. Um, my movement is only three, so I'll get into the same tile as Jay. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and cross through the Dusty Cellar and the Flooded Chamber, and I believe I need to make a roll through the you Flooded Chamber. You need to chamber. make a sanity roll of plus three to cross. If you fail, you stop moving. Okay. I need to make... Can you give me... Just kidding. All the, all I stole all the dice. Bad. You make it. All right. Good. I joined Jay, and then I'm like, hey. Hey! I told you he... Or she was the problem the entire time. <laughs> you can't trust the small ones. <laughs> They're always so up to no good. Your little tiny hands. Like, oh. All right. Um, I think I'm done. Okay. Moving. Uh, so I have a few additional rules. I mean, I guess you do as well. But as far as the haunt setup, so uh, we're all still adventurers. Um, after the trader takes a turn, any monsters controlled by the trader get a monster turn. So I have to deal with monsters as well now. Yay. Um, mm. The He is pretty good. I'm just get a box of that for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So. Uh, Gretchen Twitch Titchwillow, the uh, little tiny mouse with a berserker axe, <laughs> is going to run in here and start cleaving at the elf uh, warlock's legs with the berserker axe. <laughs> die! Die, 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 die! A stranger die. sentence has never been spoken. My master has commanded me. <laughs> um, let's see. So it might of uh, four <clears throat> plus two for the berserker axe. Jesus Christ. And I have a total of six, and you roll might to defend. Okay, cool. Cool. And um, I believe, the board, do I get plus one, or do I get plus one die? Please. You will get, add one to the result. That's going to be great. Okay, so you beat me by how many? You got a total of one? Uh, two. So I beat you by four. Oh, boy. Rut row. Oh, oh, it's painful. But you're not dead dead. I'm not dead yet. Okay. Um, I just wish I was. I am going to steal one of these. Yeah, because you beat you by more than two. Mm -hmm. Yep. They look so funny. They, oh, they're like dewormer or whatever. Oh. Oh, yeah, because they have the dewormer that just like goes in the back of the neck now. She looks like she's got a mohawk. <laughs> it's tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Yeah. Which which terrible item do you want? <laughs> I 
boy. You're YOLO. Uh, yeah, I'm YOLO. YOLO um, flask. Okay. And... I haven't seen a little guy in a while. He's so, hiding. So I can use an item, move, attack. One, two... So she's already moved one, two, no, and I went then... one, two, yeah. And then uh, two to move out of our space. Oh, or one, one for two, each adventure? Three, no, it's just two. I'm going to go here and increase my sanity a little bit. All right, and he is a mouse. Me! <laughs> With a fucking berserker axe. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious to picture. Right? Um, then the beholder is going to come out here. Um, eye beams! Pew, pew! So to figure out eye beams, uh, I got to roll dice to figure out which eye beam I, I'm attacking with. Uh, I'm gonna attack Jay first. All right, oi! Uh, it's a two, so it's a slowing ray. On uh, success, the target can move a maximum of two spaces on their next turn. Um, so let's see. I make a speed attack, which is not the best. Uh, so it's two is the number to beat. I'll need. Two more, please. Okay. <laughs> Should not be a problem for you. Uh, the one that's going towards... Three. Ooh, barely. Uh, this one is going to be a disintegration ray, Ooh. which is a might attack. <laughs> oh. Against me? Yeah. Um, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, I need might five. It's cool. I'll just go get my phone and go play on it. Oh, don't worry. This one takes too long. <laughs> You're dust. Seven? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's no way I can yeah. do that. Not with my might. Womp, womp, womp. Um, and then what? might. What's your might? Uh, I had one might and... She couldn't take, even, down a, she couldn't take even a single hit. Yeah, um, I could, could not take a single hit without dying. Um, and the boat holder is going to slowly drift off back to the beast there and go to sleep. You're dead? Yeah. <clears throat> I have been vaporized by its uh, lightning and... eyes. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Huh. Well, let's find the kitchen and see if there's any booze and go out enjoying our lives. Where is that front door again? <laughs> Your turn. Oh, fuck. Can I go attack the berserker? Uh, or the beholder? You can go do whatever you want. The beholder's sleeping right now, so I mean... No! I mean, yeah, I no, think you're going to do it. So there, there's also another beholder kin that spawned right here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as soon as you fell asleep, a beholder kin came out, basically? Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird to me, but okay. Um. Okay, the the loop pinatas. Huh? But we also want to stop him from. Oh. Saving. Do you drop your omen card when you die? I think so. So you could pick it up. <coughs> if, you want, if you want my pipes of haunting. haunting. Might be handy. Hi. I'm gonna go over there and just start fucking shit up. Um, what do I attack this thing with? Um, which one? If you want to attack the beholder, it's Sandy. <coughs> what about the little guy? But standard might. <coughs> I'm the worst right now. What's your... Knowledge is my strongest feature. Oh, I guess I got a book of spells I can use Sandy instead of Might, which would be good against them. Can I inspire terror or something? Am my eyes back to that? <laughs> Time to roll. Oh yeah, if someone tries to come on your square? Oh, if someone tries to come on my square. Yeah. I'm not finding anything about what happens if you actually die from dropping cards. Um. Go for it. We'll attack him. We'll just go for it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yep, yep. Hello, bitches. So I can pick whichever one I want to attack. Mm -hmm. Is that Beholder or Older Kid? I'm gonna Beholder. Bitch, does he get a disadvantage because he's sleeping? I don't think so. I think it just, he needs to sleep. It. Oh. Basically, he needs to be able fuck. to sleep. Could I have used the healing word on you? I didn't even think about it. I don't think it was even a chance. I don't think. I think it's been your turn. Yeah. Oh. You um, didn't make it there? 
So yeah, I think he, the beholder can still do stuff. Oh. He just he's technically asleep right now. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna tag him with some some. What are you attacking with? Just a normal attack. Well, I have to attack him with sanity. Yeah. I I don't know what you're using to attack him. Uh, you have to attack with might. Yeah. Yeah. No, you so can attempt you... a knowledge or sanity roll. Knowledge. Opposed by the beholder's roll. Oh, the holder roll. Wait, so you with guys can attack with knowledge or sanity? Yep. Interesting. Okay. So you can use your knowledge roll. Oh, yeah. nice. Then I can do that. <clears throat> So I, I was double checked. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Nice. Okay, what's the total there? It's eight, nine. It's gonna be tough to beat. Do you have the same amount of dice? It's a holder. <laughs> also oh. nine. Okay, so that's, that's a draw, I believe. Yeah. yeah. No! <laughs> Finally could do a thing! <laughs> so I used. I should one, have inspired two, you! Hindsight. I, so I did one, two, three, yep. right? And it's gonna cost two to move back out. Two so to move out, yep. okay. Um, four, five. Peace, bitches! <laughs> Prince, he, can, he can still, right. like, shoot, poop shoot you. Go ahead and inspire you. So see if you can find anything about Thanks, taking items when you die. Because I, I couldn't find anything <laughs> about that. Um. I got Like Meryl's designed this, it makes so much sense. Okay. You know what? I'm going in too. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I have to do this. So there's a little thing there. What's that? It's just a marker. Basically, I can't sit on this one tile and keep spawning Beholder Ken. Oh, so you have to. I have okay. to. Gotcha. Oh, so you're marking where you spawned. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and step in there and make a knowledge. So you're going to attack this guy? Yeah, the Beholder, yeah. Okay. What was uh, here. How many dice do you need? I need five. Come at me, bro. Two, Two four, four six, seven. Seven? Yep. Can you inspire yourself? Nah. What did you roll? Seven. Seven? So I believe I take two. Actually, oh. nope. So this is special. So, while you're sleeping, I basically come in there inside your dreams. I'm like, hey, okay. you can't sleep anymore. That employer can't sleep and it started to go insane. Uh, we need those triangular tokens. Yep. I took them over here. Oh, okay, the quest tokens? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, on each of the omen symbols, there'll be a, a, mm -hmm. one of those quest tokens now. On all of the omen symbols? Yep. Yeah. Every single one of them? Yep. yep. That's crazy. So if you want the Beholder can't sleep, place a triangular quest token on every tile with an omen symbol. Represent a magical barrier that prevents the Beholder from dreaming. Okay. Inform the traitor that the Beholder can't sleep and has started to go insane. Okay. No more babies for you. <laughs> I didn't realize you'd be able to do all of them once that's insane. That's because you beat him by two, right? Okay. I beat him in general. Oh, just beat him in general. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming mine can be dropped, the pipes of haunting. If it doesn't say that it can't be dropped or stolen, then it is dropped when I die. Which that means if you would like to grab it since it was your turn. Uh, Actually, to be fair, uh, so you can have it basically. Oh, because yeah. he has it's a beholder there. Yeah. I mean, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, on my turn. Uh, can I do that anywhere? Can I? So it was one, two, oh, one, two. Yeah, I can't. Wait, can I leave? You need two to leave. Uh, I'll stay there. Uh, we're going to go over here. And let's see. One second. Okay. 
Daddy could have been doing that down there. Yeah. Did you get any fancy? Sanity. Be gone. Boom. All the markers go away. What? All of them? Whoa. Easy come, easy go. Son of a bitch. How did you do that? That's, it seems, it's just... Nothing you can do? Nothing I can do. Fuck. Yes. Um, so, I can keep moving, though, and I'm going to keep on moving over here. Wait, you're, this guy did it? Yeah, so I, I did oh, it, I did it shit. by getting over to an omen place. Ah, oh, your minion. <laughs> Praise be the master. Um, and that's gonna make my speed go up by one. Okay. So lovely. Now, uh, I think actually when that yeah, started turn, I should have done this. Not the really nice ones. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey. So he's gonna shoot rays. That's gonna be rough. Yeah. Cool. So first one's towards you. Excellent. And it is going to be a slowing ray. The second one is going to be towards you. And it is going to be also a slowing ray, which is shitty, but that's okay. Alright. Um, so it'll be a. I think a speed versus both of you guys. Okay. Actually. Yeah. So I remember from last time, anyway. With each step, yeah. So, first one's speed two. Did I say it was versus you or versus you? First was sorry. Okay, I mean, speed two versus second. you. Oh. And two versus you. <sighs> Can I hit the first roll instead? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What? So both you, you guys defend with speed. <laughs> both yeah. Two. Oh, yeah. and I guess I have the old die. So. There. What's your speed value? Five. Oh, nice. I beat you. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. Speed is sort of the, the weakest one, I think. Um, I mean, think guys had disintegration ray. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, it's so weird. But regardless, I've got Beholder Kin too. Yay. Um, so I guess the Beholder Kin is going to attack you because you're right there. Beholder is there anything as far as, like, since I'm the same square as you, does that matter? Uh, he, he'll move slowly. Like,. Basically, I'll have to go an extra movement to get out of this one, an extra movement to get out of this oh, one. Oh, as far as, like, since we since you attacked me, is there anything, like, since you lost that attack on the same square, or? I don't think ah. so. Um, lose an attack. Takes no damage. I guess because it's, like, eye raise as opposed yeah. to, like, fighting yeah. and stuff. Yeah, okay. Cool. No, I'm sorry, that's only if it's, if it's the adjacent one. So, what was your speed roll? Four. I think it's four. Okay, so I guess it takes two damage. Yay! And um, you beat a speed roll by a lot, too. But, but she's on a different tile, yeah. so oh, okay. it doesn't make a difference. Yeah. And that's that's the thing that I was going to hold up. Yeah. It's kind of the cross off, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I'm attacking you with the Behold... No, I'm attacking you with the Behold King with Might. Okay. I'm rolling really badly. Two. You want the shiny rock instead? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the boulder does not have anything to steal. Well, the mouse does. Nothing. Oof. Okay, uh, you take two points of. Or I'm sorry, yeah, two points of my damage. Or, okay. uh, I guess, physical damage? Yeah. Um, and then the boulder is gonna go. One, I'll do something when you come in my shit. Yeah, I actually I changed my mind. I don't even wanna leave. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> that Vecna should get you. Let's see. <clears throat> Vecna's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so my my worry here is I almost feel like your quest markers and my quest markers should be different. Mm. But I don't think they are. They're just quest markers. Yeah. So. It's quest triangle markers. Uh, yeah. What? He's, He's just well. gonna go back to sleep and summon a uh, another beholderkin right there. Okay. Um, and then I put a quest marker on it. No, they're technically the same thing. Right, but it seems like I feel like when I do my ritual to remove all the quest markers. Mm-hmm. 
I shouldn't remove these ones as well. It seems like it looks a little bit easy for me, but I mean, yeah, yeah. These guys also okay. aren't super strong, so. But do they look the same on the both sides? Yeah, they're yeah. just quests with a number on them, so they're all quest so, markers. So, but one side doesn't have a number. Yeah, yeah. But, but they're they're all. So some some uh, things might mean something for the number. Ours don't. Like it might might have to go like a sequential order, or you might have to do something else with them. So in this case, the numbers don't matter. And I think usually it means I would be having to move the holder around if I hadn't gotten rid of them so quick. But yeah. it's Tina. Oh, it is, isn't it? Well, I got a pin right here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He appeared? Yeah, he just appeared. So I didn't move into it. Mm-hmm. What do we attack the pin with? Uh, probably as we Physical. might, unless you have a weapon. Just normal attacks, I think. Yeah. Physical. What is this music, Jay? I don't like it. Yellow there. My speed's five. Is that a physical trait? Nope. It's gotta be a mic. Unless you've got something that changes it. Like a duck? Crossbow. I didn't take the crossbow. I don't know. One. Versus mic? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Uh, you take one point of damage. Of might? Uh, this one can be either might or speed. Well, yeah, my bark inspiration. Oh, yeah, two. Okay, you take no damage. I take no damage. Take my bark inspiration back. <laughs> you know what we do on my turn? <laughs> Fucking adventures. <laughs> this is why you all need to suffer. <laughs> Excuse me. Is that your turn? You uh, move I, think, I think she could also move if she wanted to. Can you also use your ability or no? What ability? The healing ability? I think so. For myself? I mean, I'm not sure if you... I'm not sure what it says. You may discard a healing word token to choose an adventure or yourself. One tree that's below its starting level. Okay, then I'll do that for Mike. There you go. Forget about all these things. There's so much going on. Don't use it, lose like it. Like the, the bard sack. Heals, please. Yeah. And the bard sack. Good idea. Oh, oh man. Did you need it? Did you, <laughs> wait, did you need it? No, it's fine. Oh, are you going to die? <laughs> No, like, I'm, I'm... Can I use my mic for you, then? Here, take my mic. Take what you need. That was for you, not for me. You're okay. Is it the same square, square or adjacent square? I didn't want you to cast spells on me. I need to end that shit as quick as uh, possible. You can take it, then. It's, it's the only time I've rolled the disintegration die. Am I going to be fighting these things by myself? Probably. Gotcha. Um, is that your turn, then? Yeah, okay. Okay. Can you can you beat that thing that's right next to you? Just I try. You should just try. Oh. It didn't go well. I am... It's so badly. It didn't really go well. Sorry, I'm not paying attention because I'm... You're the one who's like, let's play Beholder. Or be, uh, whatever, Betrayal. This is a fun game. Right? No, it's a Yeah, it's game. a great game. It's not my fault. <laughs> Alright. I am going to... Wish we had a Mike character. I know, right? Yeah, we didn't plan this out. No, we did it. <laughs> that doesn't like, any better anyway. Let's play our favorite colors. <laughs> I was like, this dude looks cool. So I feel like, oh, I can use Sandy, which is better than I might, but it's probably worse because <laughs> they're probably good at Sandy too. Mm, um, I'm going to go ahead and attack the darkness. I will use a Sandy roll using my book of spells. Sorry, are you attacking the Beholder Kin? The Beholder? Uh, um, the quest I'm going Beholder Kin. Your ally? Um... Beholder Ken. Okay. Uh, I'll one, one more uh, die, please. Oh, here we go. No math. <clears throat> With no. my sanity, using my book of spells. Oh, big chair. Got her own chair today. Oh. She has a new chair chair. Your lap. And I get four. Okay, can I have one of those? Yeah. Oh, I guess I've got the stutter right there, too. Yeah, just... <laughs> what do you roll? Four. Oh, so four. Four hey! buddies. So <laughs> oh. There you go. Oh, um, shit. I'm gonna go ahead and move out. That'll cost me two to move out or mm -hmm. three? Just two. Two? I got two to move out, and then how much to move out of that room with Kelsey and that Another guy? Another two. Another two. So it'll be four total? Yep. Okay, and then this is the room where you get coins or something like that? Uh, you can yeah, you make a knowledge check and get items. Oh, that's my knowledge. It's that's a five. five plus to do it. So you got even odds. You know what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel like we're kind of backs against the wall. I'm going to go ahead and make my way over there. Okay. 
You're gonna go away? Yep. Okay. And I'll use. Uh, I need one more die, please. That's not bad. No, you it's even odds. Pretty good. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. You get three of these. Yep. And you get Let's to choose. Well, hopefully it's not garbage. <sighs> Never. Is it a Phoenix down? All right. Five hundred GP worth of diamonds. So I realized that reincarnate he used at the very last session we played has a thousand GP worth of like opponent requirement. Oh really? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's resurrection spells are fucking awful in D and D. Like yeah. if you die, I hope you're loaded. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually not too bad when you're later on in your adventure curl. The five beans it seems like it's a lot. You'd have a lot less money. Yeah, well, I mean, also we never get paid in this game. In a closed economy God. like Barovia, we didn't have any like. We tried keeping track of money in the beginning. We just there you go. failed miserably. Well, we didn't have any. <laughs> I could turn to visible, <laughs> but I'll take a lock. I gain one sanity. Nice. And any time I take mental damage, I take one less point of damage. That's handy. But if you take this away from me, then I lose my sanity that game. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. And cool, that cool. will be. And what's the other thing you have? Um, shiny rock. You want to take a look at it? I'll trade you for one of your items. Mm, that's right. <laughs> no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Look. Very, okay. very speedy. Um, bimble, bimble. I'm going to attack you. I'm a berserker. Sure. That's a might? <laughs> yes. Nothing could go wrong. <sighs> Pretty weak roll, actually. Uh, I got a four total. Sweet. Right. Oh, I don't need any extra dice. Oh, okay. well, you're gonna die. No, I have my speed I can sacrifice. You can? Yeah, so you can choose whether you lose might or speed when you get attacked with that. Oh. So you only take one point of damage. Yep. Are you slow? <sighs> my speed. Um, so, on the monster's turn... By Cruel World. Yeah. Okay, so they're gonna pile up on you. Cool. Uh, first one's making the might, might roll. It's might six. Oh! Second one, well, actually, let's go ahead and resolve that one first. A might roll? Oh, bitch. Nope. Whoa! No, oh! Yeah. Nice, okay. Woo! Second one's doing it, doing it again. Go to Vegas, guys! This one's just three. One. Okay. Add one to it. Three. <laughs> um, and then I uh, hold his wig now. Wait, 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 wait. Actually. Fucking Vecna, bitch. Oh, that's right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best cleric. <laughs> so what does Vecna do? So when he you tried to, to like, <laughs> enter her, her area. You have to make so the up. one that came over scooted. Mm -hmm. Can I well, back what, 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 what does it do? Do I need to stop? Need do to I continue? Roll. I need to roll. What am I rolling? Two dice. Any two? Uh, I have back in grant to the power to inspire. Gain one knowledge too, by the way, from this? Earlier or no? Yes. Okay. Um, grant to the power to inspire terror and others. If an opponent attempts to move onto the Tal Yakapai, you may have them attempt a roll of two plus with two dice. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. If they succeed, they enter your tile. If they fail, they stay in their current tile and end the movement. Doesn't matter because, like, the. the Battles didn't really matter, but like, let's see what would have happened. Oh, we would have succeeded. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, now that said, before I actually do the move, Sorry. I realize I want to make my attack first, so I'll get attacked. Oh, Vecna, bitch! <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Vecna eyeballs. <laughs> I got an eye too, motherfucker. Uh, oh, this is a different one. This is a telekinetic ray. Oh, no. Make a knowledge attack. Well, this is actually probably one of the best things I could do versus you, yeah. uh, as far as you're concerned. Yes. Um, Some bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Back no bitch. Uh, whoa! Well, roll your knowledge check. I'm not really expecting much. Yeah, well. Okay. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, then I'm gonna do my movement. Back no bitch. Yep. And I'm gonna end up right there. And then you're gonna go to sleep. So if you're passing through my tile, you don't back them. I don't think so. 
move onto the tile. So you don't necessarily end your turn there, but oh, move yeah. onto it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you still have to make the roll, but... You still have to make the roll. Right, well, I did that first. Oh, you did that first. Okay. Yeah, that was the fourth. Okay. I think that's it for me. <laughs> now going to sleep. It's too much to do. <sighs> too much shit going on. All right. Well, peace, bitches. One, two. I'm coming over to you. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to... He needs knowledge. So that'll make him so he can't sleep. Yeah. Right. And then it'll open up all those gates. Yeah, try that. Yeah, okay. He doesn't seem to like those gates. What gates? What are you talking about? Under the quest markers? Yeah. So that's... Do that. No sleeping for you! So what is that? Uh, six. Six. Right. And that was, I guess, knowledge of sanity. It's not really any different for me. Who <laughs> does it? Oh, man. What did I beat you by? Four? Three. Three. Nice. Yes. Nope. Doesn't do any damage. But it, but I, it does put all the marks. So we'll just say that everything everything's marked. Out, yeah. Everything is marked. Yeah. And I don't have to keep doing things. <laughs> is that okay? Kill that little mouse. No, I'm just a mouse. Little piece of shit berserk rack. Can we see what your stats are, by the way? My stats? Yeah. I suppose if I can ask about your stats, you can ask about my stats. Um, I've got a speed of six. I've got a might of four without my axe. I've got a sanity of four, and I've got a knowledge of three. I feel like you guys need to just kick that little mouse's ass and take that freaking berserk rack. Oh, yeah, do that. I will inspire you. Thanks, bro. What is saying? <laughs> um, and I will attempt a book of spells attack against you using sanity. Okay. She got a little booty on her. Uh, five, please. Yeah, boop, boop. I didn't see it. Of course you didn't. What was it? Blank. Was it? Yeah, fine. <laughs> Oof. Six. I need one of those. Give me the good one. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a six? Yep. I'm going to use my uh, Fury of Wondrous Power. Oh! And ignore it instead. What? Son of a bitch. Shut up, bitch. Well, on the plus side, you force him to use one of his items. True. I'm a tricksy mouse. Wait, does this go away? Uh, only so this thing specifically says that it can only be used once per game. Yeah. Okay. What else you got, bitch? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you want the shiny right? I want your fucking cheese. So omen cards don't count as item cards, right? Is that what you decided? Uh, it depends on the context, I guess. Some of them can be picked up and traded. During your turn, if you are on the same tile as another adventurer, you may discard this item to steal an item they control of your choice. Probably not, then. Because these are not items. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright. Um, I didn't ditch this with me on your tile. I'm not on your tile. Oh, that's true. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's fine. We're doing different things. I will end my turn there and try to gain an item. You already did it once. Oh, I can only do it once? No. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's all you have then. Right? That's you pretty much it. I yeah. can move, but I mean, what's the point? It's a little mouse. You're gonna chase me down. <laughs> it's very quick. Alright, yeah, little sure. blood axe. <laughs> it's like holding a little blood axe between its teeth and just like going for your like shins. It's basically like my character in that one game we played where it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller <laughs> run around the vagina. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, Beholder's already awake. Um, I see some perfectly good shins I need to destroy just in front of me. Actually, um, let's see. You I'm not very strong. Yeah, you're not. Um, it, it's probably in my best interest to uh, chop your ankles. She holds me. Let's take a drink. Thank you. Like a little crystal, maybe? I don't know. 
Uh, I rolled a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna take at least one point of damage here. You only get two. That's it. Wait, but you're out of three. Oh, you're out of three. Oh, fuck. That's not bad. Right, two points of damage, and you get to take an item. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna take your shiny rock. And oh, then, yeah, then you can. And just... then exchange it for your locket. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think that makes the rock go away. It does. Cause fuck that shit. The rock gets discarded. Yeah, you can may, you may discard this item to still. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's fine. So it's two points of damage. I believe so. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's take it there. Okay. Um. Well, I guess the beholder is going to take his attack action. I'm going to attack you first. Sure. Fucking slowing, Ray. Uh, my speed's not that good. Well, it's about time. Um, whoop, whoop, not looking, not looking. Get it, get it. Not looking good. Goodbye. I hate the slowing, Ray. Oh my god, you I guys. Mean, <laughs> luckily, yeah. Look, uh, yeah. I'm going to attack you. With the other ray. Come on, not slowing. Double two. That's innervation ray. Oh. A sanity attack. I'm going this one. But sanity is a lot better. Yeah. Man, I want to sanity. Welcome to my hell. Uh, versus five. What's your sanity? You got four. You all right? Yeah. You're okay. You're doing all right. Two, four. Oh, nice. Okay. You take one point of damage. Sanity? Mm-hmm. Oh, did you roll a five or a four? I rolled five. Oh. Uh, and then Beholder's gonna trundle on. That's one, two, three. He doesn't have to do a thing then? No, I probably should. I don't know if monsters do. <laughs> I got matter. this. Yeah. He floats. We um, all flow here. Oh, I also lose a sanity because he took that item from me. It's a bummer. And you gain a sanity, by the way. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, do you want to eye of Vecna either of this? Yes, I do. Okay, so they need to make, uh, I guess they just Each roll two dice. Each roll two. Now remember, if he wins, or if something happens, he might take damage. Oh, really? Dova, Dova two is fine. If, if you roll one. Okay. So that's the first one. Second one rolled exactly two. I think right, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, roll two plus. So okay. Yeah. And then I guess they're going to attack you. First one. For five. Okay. Might. Then two might. Okay. Four. Take one point. I can take it on my speed or my might? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Second one. Three. Okay, so he's gonna take a point of damage. Nice. Yay! Um, I don't know how to mark that. <laughs> um, what do you need? That's fine. I need a die. Well, I guess. Oh, hold on. I don't even know how, how much points it has. Uh, we can beat it by doing something. Oh. No, that whoever he, he has hit points over there. We well, just want to beat it. That's the only thing we know. We don't know necessarily how to beat it. I guess. Uh, I'm going to use a different tracker for Boulderkin. I don't know. He's got one minus on his speed. So okay. that way it makes the least difference. And I think that's it for my turn. Yep, I'm all done. What was mine now? Yep. What does the fucker do? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna try to attack him next. With my sanity again. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll try to attack one of those guys. Yeah, Mike. Go for it. Three. Um. Um. The guy that already has a hit. Nice. There you go. I'm gonna call it Pinky. Pinky. Four. Fuck. So you take point. Fuck. 
<laughs> Everything's awful. <laughs> Guys, I don't think we can win this one. Oh, but I can inspiration. Oh, wait, no, it's not my turn. It doesn't matter. Next time. My turn. I'll inspire you. Goodbye, cruel world. Is that your turn? Wait, don't you have more healing words? Yes. What? Yeah, use it on yourself. No time like the present. Fine. Do you get them back at all? Or do you just get the two and that's it? What? No, I don't get them back. That's it. Oof. I think you can, I don't think you can go above it, right? Oh, you uh, can't? You may discard a healing word, token to change, yeah. choose an adventure on your tower, yourself. Oh, you can't one go in above a trait that's below yeah. a starter value. Yeah. So, speaking of up stuff. Okay. Okay. Guess I. Run? No, I could run, but if I fail that thing, I die, don't I? Probably. Um, if you fail what thing? This? What is this? Uh, that's the flooded chamber, but you, I mean, if, stairs, if you're running, you'd probably just go up, because that's the one that goes yeah. to the kitchen. What's the point? I say okay. stay and fight. Okay. Unless you want to explore and get an item. Do you, do you, do you get to do something by running away? Like, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> we can just chase each just... other around the board. <laughs> All right, Sandy check. I'm going to attack, right, is that what, right? Let's double check. Oh, uh, versus Sandy. me? Sandy, yeah. Okay. Versus one lane. Four. What's up, Alice? Come on, do it. Hey! Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Seven. Uh, Seven. Well, I'm going to reduce my damage that I take by one uh, with the locket, which I assume you're going to take right back. Yeah. Woo! But I still have to take two damage. I also want to take some of those other things. Like None of the other rest. stuff is stealable. Yeah, because they're almonds. Oh, it can be dropped or traded, but it can be stolen. The Berserker Axe can be stolen. Oh, the Berserker Axe can be stolen. Yeah. Get fucking Take it. Take it. <laughs> I was thinking they weren't items. Yes. So I'm with my sand back to normal. Okay. Okay. So do note that that only affects you on attacks. So actually, made kill just need Yeah, to... but that means you can't do horrible damage on attacks. Yeah, I can't ah, do okay. quite as, quite as yeah. good damage on attacks. Come at me, bitch. <laughs> really shouldn't be saying that when you have Doom and Holrican just like noodling in your face. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So are you all done? Um. Let me actually see us. Mic attack. Baby girl. Baby girl. Baby girl. Yeah. And I'll she likes that. Is there you, have, you, you have yeah. to use it. It's, okay. There's no equipping, but you can't attack with anything besides that. I can only have, like, one weapon equipped, it says. Correct. So, in other words, like... Basically, you're yeah, like, use spell it. books? Fuck yeah. this, I'm a berserker now. Okay. Um, otherwise, all done? Sure. It's moving, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to make my sanity check to try and undo the ritual. Oh, the item? No, the the one to get rid of all the quest markers. Ah. Oh, that's right. Okay. Do you have to be on an open square or no? Just I do have to be on the open square. I'm sorry. You're 100% correct. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So she's got a roll for that. I do. Maybe we'll just go to this one instead. <laughs> oh, like. Yeah, I'll just go over here. You have to make Actually, the Vecna roll if you want, though. Oh, you probably do want to make the Vecna roll. I do want to make the Vecna roll. Roll, bitch. Damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, literally, I'm, I'm going to go up to this one, because I'm fast. Okay. <laughs> I changed my mind. Um, I do the same thing. I think that does it. Four plus. Okay. All the Four tokens only? go. Uh, my, I guess my sanity is getting a little bit better now. But uh, Boulder's going to go over here. Um, his eye tentacles kind of go like this as he flits away. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna flip, summon another beholderkin, and then that ends the game. That ends the game. Yep. Three beholderkin. Basically, I have to have as many as there are adventurers. Fuck. So it's either kill one of you guys or summon another beholderkin with my oh. win conditions. Womp, womp, womp. Sorry, sorry. We didn't we didn't plan this, and <laughs> honestly, with like four players, this was kind of difficult. Yeah. Especially since Gabe had all the items. <laughs> I got lucky with the items, and I got lucky with the disintegration rail roll on you. Oh man, yeah. that was good. It's rough. Yeah, we're I kind know. of behind eight ball on that one. That's all right. No, that's, uh, that's the so fun. spells came in handy. Yeah, yeah. 
That's a good time. I mean, one of us won, right? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we all had fun, and that's so, the most important so, part. Okay, right so, wait, so there's a story, right? What happens if you win? Ooh, right. Yeah. Okay. Tell us the story. If I win. Um, well, first, let me let me read what my story text was. Your master, the beholder Braxis, descends from above. It's slimy us to ice talk seeking a target. What's your bidding, master? You ask. Tonight, I shall dream an army, and we shall enslave this city. If you win, you are surrounded by your master and its brood. You have served me well, Braxis says, as its eyes take in the corpses of your performer comrades. Soon, Baldur's Gate will fall, and all will serve Braxis. Great. We're the worst adventurers. So our goal was basically to kill Braxis and the minions. Yeah. Not necessarily you, but the fucking berserker axe is hurting. Yeah. Especially when might at max or standard is three. We yeah. probably so. should have gone just for the um, beholder. So what was up with the portals? Like, so he couldn't sleep, in other words, unless those portals are closed? Yeah, so basically, in order to sleep, he needs to be able to go to an omen spot yeah. and then end his turn there. And, and it, it, it can't have a quest marker there. Yeah. So I guess when I when I summon a beholder can through, it never said anything about portals to me. So when you said portal, I wasn't even sure what you're talking about. Um, um, there wasn't portals. Oh, magical barrier. Sorry. Oh yeah, these represent magical barriers that prevent the beholder from dreaming. Um, so basically, yeah, I can't sleep on an omen thing with one of those. If the beholder can no longer sleep because all the omen tiles have tokens on them, uh, that's when I can do my ritual to get rid of them all. Oh, when all of them have them? When all of them have them. What? Well, so, that's the thing. We, you guys would do your thing, and it would put them on all of them. So it was like closing all the barriers, like barrier and all of them. That left you open to do the ritual. That left me open to do the ritual. Hmm. What? Yeah. I feel like it's, it's like ass backwards. That it's like we should just be attacking you instead of like, yeah. oh, you can't sleep. Meanwhile, you know, Mouse Boy over here is just like, all right, I'm just gonna open it up. You know, it's just like, it's mouse like, boy. It seems like backwards. It's like, oh, yeah, we should have like kicked the Mouse Boy's ass. Yeah, I, I was gonna be tricky because I think I was the fastest out of all of us too. Yeah, so. you, you and then won. the berserker actually is the strongest. And then, like, <laughs> yeah. you, you won the loot lottery. Is this what you think of the South Park episode with the dick on yeah. the? Yeah. No one here has might. Not even, like we did not. We plan. didn't plan that well. No. Well, I mean, if if all I, I, think if all I had been the. Yeah, the traitor would have been a much different problem too, because yeah. then she would have the huge sanity and the spell book. So I think it was just the demon. I had the demon. I got lucky. The so peeps, the peeps. that was betrayal at Baldur's Gate. Dun dun dun! It's fun. I like that one. We're not bitter at all. It's hard though. It like, I know. You oh, really yeah. do have to think. Yeah, definitely. It's fun, but I think this portion of the game is so hard to balance because it's yeah. so variable. Yeah. Like what comes yeah. out. Well, items come in. Yeah, it's like, yeah. like literally the guy who's got them all, and oh, like, I fell in every trap, so I'm like dying. And I feel like we, we've had a couple games of this or Betrayal at the House on the Hill, where it's actually been a pretty close thing. This. This was not. This close. was not yeah. really no, a This was not really. A I was down the first round. Yeah. I I was not a. And it's like oh I have. Okay, Sandy, okay, knowledge versus Beholder. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Moral of the story is Beholders are terrible. And but I, I think you're right. don't you, let them into your hell. Going after me was probably the right answer on that part. Cause yeah, we should have done that. You just cleaved me away. Well, yeah, that's true. You know, just, I, I can only take one, two, three. Did your spellbook thing allow you to attack from range? Or was it still just a normal attack? I think she's got it. Um, I think it was just... Because I know there's something that lets you attack like a square way. That's the rules. Well, she's got it in the other hand. Oh. What? Hip spells. Oh, I had it? <laughs> yeah. I was just looking at things. I was not paying attention. <laughs> this says if you attack an opponent. Yeah, th there's, I mean, the crossbow would have let her attack from range, and there's a couple of items that let you attack from range, but yeah. most of the time it is kind of shit all over. She was taking the crossbow. But the crossbow requires good speed, so like, true. My again. speed wasn't bad; it just got bad. But yeah, that's that's the game in a nutshell. Yeah, well, I like betrayal anyway, the rules and everything. But hey, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, we'll go wrap up here. Probably grab a little snack and a drink. Um, but uh, if you guys can donate towards uh, Sappers Yeah.
Uh, uh, extra life. life. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's mind blank. Uh, yeah, we've been drinking a lot. Spell. This is this is beer yeah, and board games. This uh, isn't just like we're probably gonna take oh, yeah. a break Did you here. Feature the beer. Oh yeah, uh, dragon's milk. Whoops, there you go. And I gave there because he was really the end story. Dragon's milk because it's Dungeons like and Dragons. Me flail around looking for the box. Dungeons and Dragons. Do you want the other box? Yay. Oh, it's over here. Oh, okay. Uh, so, we're going to wrap up, pick up. Thanks everybody Bye, for everybody. watching. Uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks. You guys are going to Game Hole Con. Woohoo! Oh. Look for uh, us three. Uh, Gabe, Ala, well, myself. Um, and uh, say hi. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, guys, we'll see you in a couple weeks. In December? No. No, November. Not yet. Really? November it's still, still November. I think November. we're playing. The weekend of the 17th? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we are. I'll check with Kat. Yeah, double check if, if we are, then... We'll put it up. I'll... Hashtag I'm, I'm still special. Special. But Jane and I still special one Jane shot session. and I still have a show to do, too. Oh, yeah. Not today, necessarily, but yeah, we're going to do a Walker Stalker recap. Yeah. Oh, right. So. Yeah. Yeah, and then Al is going to be DMing our next session. Woo. Which is, it, it will be a one shot. So. Speaking of mice... Speaking of mice, ooh, it'll be fun. I was like, I don't know if I want to run a mouse game anymore. <laughs> yeah, fuck <laughs> mice. Fuck no. mice. Thanks everybody for watching, and uh, cheers. Cheers, happy November. Great.